Welcome back to Pajama Crafts where I do crafts in my pajamas. Today I have three Dollar Tree DIYs for you. Starting out, I had these two frames from Dollar Tree that I got a long time ago. I wanted to redo them, make them a little bit shabby chic and kind of girly for Bree's room and this little shelf that I made for her. So I'm going to be painting these with some white Waverly chalk paint after I remove the contents of the frame. Now I just kind of whitewashed these a little bit. I did not get into all the cracks because I really liked how the colors were peeking through. I just did two coats of the white though so that it wouldn't um, be so see-through but I still had that black peeking through where I couldn't reach with my foam brush. Next, I'm using some Folk Art Home Decor chalk paint in the color Vintage Victorian to, to um, kind of, I, I don't know if you would call it distress, but I'm just putting a little bit over top with an old brush like you would do. I'm just dry brushing some of it on there. I thought this would be really cute to have in Bree's room since her colors are kind of pink and gray. Um, she doesn't exactly have her own room yet, um, but I thought this would be so cute just to put in there where she's sleeping. Um, in our room and hopefully soon we will be in a big enough house where everybody can have their own room. That's all I did for these and I think they turned out so, so cute. On to the third DIY. This is a tray that I have from Dollar Tree and I decided to paint it with this ivory color of the Waverly chalk paint and I did a few coats. This is all stuff that I had on hand. I'm just crafting my stash right now, um, staying at home with the kiddos and their dad and we are just trying to stay safe. I hope everyone else is doing the same. Just use what you already have at home. I just made this stencil with my Cricut on some Dollar Tree contact paper um, and I do have a video of how I make these. I'm not a professional by any means but y'all were asking for how I make these so I did make a video on that a while back and I'll leave that linked in the description if you want to see how I make these. Um, and then I have learned a few things since that video. You guys keep giving me tips on how to unweld my stuff after I weld it. But I do know how to do that now. But thank you so much because the first person who told me, I didn't know. So I always learn so much from you guys. Um, but I just went ahead and used some of this green chalk paint. I think it's the, mo the Spanish moss. This is the home decor, like folk art chalk paint. Um, but I know they have a similar color. With the Waverly chalk paint, this is just the one that I had on hand. I was inspired to do this one by something that I saw on Pinterest. It's really similar, so I'll leave that linked in the description because I do want to give that person credit because that is where I got the idea, and this is very similar to that. I think they used a fern, which I thought was really pretty, but I couldn't find one like it, and I just picked one that looked similar that I thought would kind of give it the same vibe, I guess. Thank you. 
Now just distressing with my Waverly chalk paint in the color Truffle and really getting into the edges and those details to bring those out and it just looks so pretty I think. I really don't know all the terms and exactly what this style is called. I call everything shabby chic that's not farmhouse. <laughs> like anything that's more kind of vintage. I know it's like vintage Victorian and um, primitive and mixed media and like all kinds of other terms and I don't know what all of them mean really. I just do whatever I think looks good and keep adding things until I think it's finished. So I really don't know all of the terms but I hope you guys like this. If you know like what style this is let me know down in the comments for both of them really because I'm really not sure exactly what you would call it. I just think it's pretty. Take it to daddy. Can I have it? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, more DIYs like these. And I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to also check out my social media in the description links below. Um, and including my Facebook group where you can show me all of your beautiful creations that you have made. I love to see what you guys are making. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.